The sources, though, can be also bacterial fermentation. If we use our food waste, feed it to the bacteria, acid forms will produce hydrogen. If you can remove the methiogens, which are the bacteria that produce methane, they can, then you can capture that hydrogen gas and not make methane. But if you make methane, you can go through uh, an alcohol reaction on it, for, expose it to acid, and make a methanol out of it, and extract that hydrogen from methanol pretty easily. A lot of fuel cells are using methanol itself as the extraction source for the hydrogen, and then, and then goes back and forth. Um, I like hydrogen, I do, it's just not right now. I think it's gonna be a great fuel economy for, the, for our cars, but not for trucks. Again, for our industry, people run on, on easy energy, low amount of energy, gasoline, but industry runs on biodiesel. It always has, it's gonna do for a long time. Diesel fuel itself has a high energy return, 182 BTUs. You're not gonna get that much torque out of a gasoline engine. If a gasoline engine was that much more efficient, the big trucks would be doing it right now. Your locomotives are going across country on a diesel engine producing electricity. An electrical motor runs the locomotive across the, the country. It's not a gasoline engine. So as people, we can switch to a hydrogen economy. Industry is still gonna be using diesel. It's just the most bang for the buck. And it's why I've chosen biodiesel as the start for changing the world as I th see it as one thing at a time. Um, and that's the best way to do it, is just change one thing. We can change things later, but we can't change it all. The question was, can you fly, fly jet engines? Yes, you can, the WSU has a bio jet fuel project. Um, we as a company are currently working with them and working with other people to do the biojet project. Um, it is, bio, the only thing that we need to do is um, make the lipid chains a little bit smaller. Um, they're currently a little large and they don't burn as easily, but it can work into jet fuel. The nice thing about butanol is you can take this molecule right here, put it in a jet engine and you can go. EPA approved already. It's not a high yield, but then again, jet engines, jet fuel's not as big as, as, normal, as, as normal fuel for trucks like biodiesel. We use 64 billion gallons of diesel fuel in this country. I don't even, can not even imagine 64 billion gallons. I don't know if you guys can, but anything over a million, I just kind of lose track, you know? Actually, anything over $100, I kind of lose track, you know, being a scientist. But butanol itself is, is a great jet engine fuel. Um, and with no, nothing but um, simple um, distillation to get to it. Yeast, the, the, the problems with yeast is that they produce what's called a steric acid, which is a long chain carbon in their fat. So it's, it's much like mammalian cell fat. They, they are uh, much uh, closest as neighbor as we can get into microorganisms. Most of genetics are run through yeast. So we have to genetically engineer the yeast to produce a better fat, so to speak. But there has been great research in that. Uh, the BCE research has produced yeast cells that are so fat that they explode with the amount of fat they produce. Um, so there's been some great research into that, and I think yeast is going to be one of those up-and-coming things that is going to come back and, and get to us. Uh, it's, it, it, it is one thing. Now, algae, I don't have a thing up here on algae, but um, I feel it's due that it's thing. Algae is good for removal of CO2 in the area. If you have a city, growing algae will remove that CO2-producing oxygen. It's great for cleaning up smog. It's great for cleaning up power plants. CO2 from power plants can be run through algae cleaning it up. It, it, you can take the sugars and produce ethanol from it. You can take the feed, the, the, the proteins and the mass and for feed for cows and for other um, farm animals. And you can produce the fat into biodiesel. But if you're looking just for to produce the fat into biodiesel, it's not very good. But if you're looking at the, at the whole product, Algae has a very great use, and it's going to become a part of it, but it's not a fuel. It goes back to the feed and the sugars and the protein as the most valuable product. 
itself and the side product of your cleaning the air. In Seattle, we have wonderful air. I love it here in Seattle. I can breathe. Um, we have a lot of rain um, coming down, and it just cleans everything up. But if you go a little south to California and, and you go into Hollywood, you can't even see the Hollywood sign on a, on a clear day because there's so much smog. That is where algae would become very useful to cleaning up the air. Um, we have the technology. It's nothing new. It's just application of technology. Biodiesel is nothing new. Biodiesel has been put out since the 1920s to, to look at fats by biochemistry. We're not doing you know, breakthrough science. What we're doing is using the technology we have to make something useful. And we have so much of that out there. As, as what I was saying with butanol, this is just one chemical that's being produced. If you look at bacteria and yeast, we can take our waste and produce all of our chemicals. All the stuff you use in society today is coming from petroleum. All the chemicals, you know, all your hair, hair dye, your, your hairspray, everything is coming from a petroleum product that can all come from our waste streams. I, I, I very advocate the waste streams. If we look at our waste streams, like I was saying, we have all of this waste that we can grow stuff off of. Fuel, chemicals, everything is coming from our waste stream. And when we're looking at future of fuels, we're looking waste to energy, waste to fuel, waste to chemicals, taken and every dollar we keep here is a dollar spent here, not going overseas, not going anywhere else. It helps the economy the best. I mean, that's the greatest thing about doing these microeconomics and these local biofuels business, is I know that every dollar that I take in here and make here, I spend here, and it totally cycles back into the community. And so it's, a, it's community supported. And, and I'm glad to see so many people in the community show up for this.